Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a crazy duel using Dark Magicians in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I don't want to waste any time. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the madness. So first things first, heading into this duel, our opponent is using a double D, triple D deck. Uh, get your mind out of the gutter. Nah, it's the deck that Declan used in the Arc 5 anime series, if you're familiar with that. But as advertised, we are using Dark Magicians, so we want to go first and get that initial setup. Dark Magical Circle hits the board, followed shortly by Apprentice Illusion Magician, which is going to search out a Dark Magician from the deck, which is perfect for us because we're sitting on a fusion spell, Secrets of Dark Magic, which we're now going to use to fuse our two monsters and bring out THE Dark Magicians to properly get this duel started. Soul Servant is going to resolve and stack the top of our deck with Eternal Soul, and we're now going to pass turn to our opponent. We're sitting on one interruption, that is the banish off of the Dark Magical Circle, assuming Magicians get destroyed. Before that happens though, since they activated a spell card on their turn, Magicians effect activates and draws the soul that we stacked earlier, and because we drew it with that effect, we actually get to set it and activate it this turn, which means we're basically guaranteed the banishment off of the circle in at least two ways. Unfortunately, they bring out a big boss monster, Genghis, which can negate spells and traps. That's exactly what happens. He negates my eternal soul as I try to activate it and sends it directly to the graveyard, which is actually a good thing because it didn't get destroyed. Had it been destroyed, I would have lost my magicians and that would have put us in a pretty bad spot early on. But this just lets them combo off without interruption until my magicians get destroyed. So I got to kick back and watch him build his board. Out comes another triple D monster. Here he goes into his first link play, Gilgamesh, and this thing was a thorn in my side, man. I learned the hard way that when he gets destroyed, my opponent gets to cheese out a big boss monster out of the extra deck, and that happened several times. It was a bit of an issue that we had to contend with. Here he brings out a second Genghis, and the spell and trap negation is a soft once per turn, so I was a little bit concerned before I noticed its effects were negated which is good news for us, but right after that, he brings out a huge XZ's monster, 3500 attack, Duo Dawn King. It uses its effect to destroy all spells and traps on the field, and he goes into battle, destroying the Dark Magicians. Again, this isn't too bad because I can now summon out two more monsters. I bring them out in attack mode to try to bait uh, the attack on Dark Magician Girl, which is exactly what happened. I would prefer Dark Magician Girl get destroyed because I'm sitting on bonds, so I can just bring her back out pretty much whenever I want. We go into our turn and the card we draw is Eternal Soul. Not very useful right now, we need more plays. I activate the Soul Servant in my grave to draw two more, them being Magician Salvation and Souls, which is a perfect draw in my opinion. We activate Salvation, we activate Souls to cheese out the second Dark Magician in our graveyard. This triggers Salvation to bring back Dark Magician Girl from the graveyard. Salvation really helps this deck, guys. Magicians can actually really pop off with this field spell. But since we're sitting on two level sevens, we can go into our first XZ's play, a game-changing play, number 11, big eye detaching a material we steal duo don king wipe all spells and traps and destroy his monsters in the battle phase i'm thinking i have the upper hand here he's got no cards in his hand but this is where gilgamesh's effect activated and cheesed out a huge boss monster i did not expect that in the moment we have no choice but to set eternal soul and pass turn back to our opponent this thing is nasty as you can see it pops monsters in attack mode and deals damage equal to half their attack points he destroys duo don king he destroys big eye Dark Magician Girl cannot take this thing on by herself. We have no choice but to go on the defensive. He passes turn and we draw Cross Out freaking Designator. Absolutely useless here. Dark Magician Girl switches to defense mode. Eternal Soul brings back Dark Magician in defense mode. And this serves a double purpose. The defense protects my life points, obviously, but he also can't activate the effect to pop either one of them, so we're pretty safe. He tries to attack Dark Magician. Eternal Soul brings back the second Dark Magician, so I basically didn't lose anything here and he has no other plays, so he has to pass turn back to us. This duel started turning into a nail biter at this point. We draw Magician Souls, which is perfect because we're sitting on two trash cards. We normal summon it, activating its effect to get rid of the trash. We draw two more, which ends up being called by the grave and Magician's combination. 
perfect. We got to get souls off the board. So we go into our very shiny Link Karibo. Please give a thumbs up on the video for shiny Link Karibo. I was very happy to pull him. Eternal Soul brings back the second Dark Magician. Once again, we have two level sevens letting us go into the absolutely game changing goaded play of the game. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon in defense mode. We set our two back row cards and pass turn to our opponent. And I'm sitting pretty confident here knowing I got Red Eyes in my corner. He tries to activate his Doom King's effect to destroy my Link Karibo. Unfortunately, I tried to negate it using combination, but I forgot that both of my Dark Magicians were attached to Red Eyes, so I could not get the negation. Had to kiss Link Karibo goodbye, that's okay. Every single time this guy breathes, he's taking 500 burn damage thanks to Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. This effect changed the course of this duel. One card swung all the momentum in my direction. He tries to activate a graveyard effect from DD Ghost. I negate it using my face down called by the grave, and this was a perfect play because DD Ghost had several effects this turn that didn't go through since called by applies throughout pretty much the entire turn until it's over. He adds a card to his hand, boom, 500 more damage. Thank you very much, Red Eyes. There goes the banishment effect from DD Ghost. It's still negated, does not work, but boom, still takes 500 damage. He activates a contract, boom, 500 damage. Contract resolves, adding a card to his hand. In this case, it's DD Savant Kepler. Red Eyes Black Dragon says, boom. 500 more damage. It's insane how much this is stacking up. He summons the Kepler and uh, dumps a card in his graveyard. Boom! 500 more damage. This guy has four plays left before he loses this duel. He goes into a fusion summon, but because it was uh, due to a card effect, Red Eyes Dragon, boom! 500 more damage. This is burn damage is nuts. He goes into a Link Summon, but because this is just a standard summon, not because of an effect, he does not take damage from this. Lucky for him. He's done all the plays he can. He goes into battle, destroys Dark Magician Girl, destroys Red Eyes, but that's okay. It has pulled all of the weight in this duel. Eternal Soul brings Dark Magician back from the grave in defense mode, and I am safe for now. He passed his turn. I could not believe what had just happened on that turn. That was absolutely insane. We draw into Soul Servant. It's the only play we have. We have to play it. We stack the top of our deck with Dark Magical Circle so we can get more banishment. Since we have no cards in our hand, Soul Servant banishes from the grave, drawing the circle and Magician's Rod. Probably the best card we could have drawn in this moment. Circle adds navigation to the hand. We normal summon Rod, which adds Dark Burning Magic. That's going to come in handy later. Eternal Soul will summon back the second Dark Magician from the graveyard, which will trigger the Dark Magical Circle. Bye bye, Doom King. The biggest threat is now off the board. We can safely go into battle. I remembered Gilgamesh's graveyard effect, so I swung at it anyway, but I was feeling confident, so I didn't mind the boss monster getting cheesed out. We wipe out the other monster. He has a graveyard effect, which adds a card to his hand, but that's no big deal. If that's all we can do, we pass turn back to our opponent. They're down to 100 life points, and in my ignorance, I saved them. The face-up spell card they have on the field during the standby phase would have dealt them 1,000 damage, and I would have won the duel. I negated it with Magician's Combination. I... Uh... I'm not proud to admit that. I actually negated the effect that would have won me the duel. I literally saved him because I was ignorant to how the DDD strategy worked. I bring Dark Magician Girl back out. <laughs> he now gets to activate the actual effect I was trying to negate. It's got a main phase effect and a standby phase effect, and I just did not pay attention to which phase we were in. So he gets to combo off. I am sweating bullets, kicking myself for my own stupidity. He's building his board back up, summoning monsters. Here's another Genghis. And this monster has the effect where it can summon back out the bigger Genghis from the graveyard, the one that can negate spells and traps. I see that coming right there, so I know I have to activate Eternal Soul in that moment, otherwise I lose it. Eternal Soul resolves, I get to summon Dark Magician back out from the graveyard, and my goal here is to banish the newly incoming Genghis with the circle. Unfortunately, of course, Genghis uh, will negate the spell, so from here he proceeds to wipe out my entire board except for one Dark Magician in defense mode. I'm sitting at 2,200 life points, staring down a full board of DDD monsters, and it's all thanks to my doing. Because of my own ignorance, he brings out the final Xyz monster of the game, a 3,500 body, super doom Armageddon king mega omega something. I don't know. I don't want to deal with that. It's... It's horrible, but he activates a trap card in the draw phase, which is perfect. So I get to resolve Magician's Combination, negating that trap card, summoning back out Dark Magician Girl from the graveyard. This lets me activate Eternal Soul. And from this point, I know I've got the duel in the bag. Eternal Soul brings Dark Magician back out onto the field in attack position. This activates the circle, banishing his big monster. I play the burning magic, clearing his entire field. 
He has one more graveyard effect, adding a card back to his hand, but it doesn't matter at this point. I have already won. We go into battle phase, and Dark Magician swings to win a very hard-fought duel that I almost lost because of my own stupidity. That was insane. Guys, if you like today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will have the deck list posted here at the end of the video, and I will leave it up if you guys want to see what I'm working with. Let me know in the comments how you're liking Master Duel, and uh, let me know what decks you guys are playing with. I'll see you guys out there. Peace.